Hey, techies. I finished my first year at university. It was really fun, but very busy. So busy with working a job, meeting tons of amazing people, and exploring and trying so many different experiences. Not to mention the most important part of all, struggling and suffering through a plethora of tough engineering classes. And with it, there's been a lot of adjusting to new circumstances and also discovering new things about myself. The past year, I've tried to do a lot and try a lot. I'm going to therapy, join tons of clubs, put on events, and now starting my own club, met tons of people, like I said, went to every free event on campus. After all, free food is pretty sick. And tried so many new things like voice acting, photography, guitar, and more past year was so eventful that I can't nor want to cover a lot of it in this one video, but I do want to hit some recent highlights in my mind that came from the past year's experiences. I've done so much and pushed myself so far, but I felt greater anxiety and apathy than I have felt in a long time. I believe I made the past year all about what I should do and not what I want to do, to the point where I felt like I was living my life on autopilot and my body was just a husk following tasks to complete rather than a vessel to guide me towards what I want in life. I would be ruining my inability to have lots of fun social experiences with friends, to work on and make videos and streams that I personally enjoy and feel fulfilled by, and to just let myself do what I wanted, even when I would convince myself there were other, more important things to do. A connection to this lies in watching Soul, the movie, one to two weeks ago with a friend at her place. This may be a spoiler warning, so I'll say it now, Spoiler warning, but in the movie, it's about this guy, Joe, who cares a lot about music and wants to perform with his this famous musician lady, and he somehow finds himself in the space between death and life and tries desperately to get back to life to perform. In that space where there are souls that are assigned personality traits, passion, etc., the passion being called a spark, before they go to earth to live full lives. The movie essentially delves into comparing the mindset of someone like Joe, who puts his hobbies and passions at the forefront of his life, comparing them to someone who may not have had as many grand ambitions or activities they pour their hearts and souls into doing, but rather just enjoying smelling the roses, walking, being with people, those simple things that a lot of times we take for granted. In fact, Joe spends most of the time around 22, another character and soul that's supposed to find a spark in order to move to live a life on Earth. And most of the soul's sparks end up being dance, or piano, or some other passion or hobby. But 22 finds their spark is just living life and enjoying it. And it's something Joe learns about to enjoy and feel fulfilled from the simple, smaller parts of his life, and that his spark slash passion is not his purpose. I thought of this in my own circumstances, where I would always attribute my life to what I do, the projects I build, the videos I make, the songs I play, everything in my hobbies and skills is what I attribute myself to, and my ambitions are what I focus my whole life's energy into doing. Yet, that shouldn't be the case 100% of the, of the time. The past year, I've spent so much time just telling myself, I need to get a great software engineering internship. I need to get this many subscribers or views on videos to feel important. I need to be able to lift this much to feel strong. All of those expectations and goals were so constraining on my life, where even if I wanted to do other things, to be with friends, to take care of myself, or just anything I wanted to do that gave me no advantage towards my ambitions, I would disregard. That's not how anybody should live, and I needed to realize that. A lot of my friends are incredible in our field of engineering. Some are working at Microsoft, Rivian, AMD, Qualcomm, yada yada yada. They're all incredible. I will not deny that for a second. They are all so talented and dedicated to what they do, and they're making serious movements to be where they want to be. I think I was so enamored by what the people around me are doing that I have started to taking their ambitions as part of my own. When it came to engineering, I never cared about working at the biggest tech company ever or having a super prevalent role. As long as I could spend time building and being creative, and if I had enough money to comfortably get what I want, 
which I'm not typically a person that wants too much, so that wouldn't probably be an issue, I'd be content. My real passion came from building and creating, and I lost sight of that. In short, I got so wrapped up, whether it was in my own ambitions or in things that other people were doing that I felt I should do. I let my desires be overwritten by grandiose goals or expectations. I realized I have such high expectations for myself. And for what? Why do I need to do so much in such a small time? Why do I have to make every single one of these possibilities in engineering, content, music, working out, etc.? Why do I have to do all of them now? Why do I have to do any of them at all? Why not just do what I want? Some hobbies should just be left as hobbies. I think I was afraid back then that I wouldn't be able to push myself outside my comfort zone. But I believe that through the past year and quite frankly all of my life, I have proved that to not be the case. Doing so many things I was afraid of doing or unsure of helped convince me about that. I think it's time for me to listen to myself on what I want to be doing. Just because I have a lot of confidence in my abilities and perseverance doesn't mean I have to constantly aim for the stars, especially if I just don't feel driven to do it. Also, just because everyone else around me thinks a goal is something everyone needs to do or strive for doesn't mean that I need to. I'll obey my own mind and desires, practice and work on the stuff I want, hang out with the people I like when I want, and create the life that's perfect for me. I like to use the analogy that life is like Detroit Become Human. It's a choose your own story game based on your actions. And maybe my outcomes will be different than others. It may seem better or worse, but everything's in a grayscale. Even when my story doesn't end up as perfection incarnate, the fact that it's my story makes it the most meaningful path for me to take. I plan on doing more of these, maybe not doing such a deep topic every time, but maybe just recording my experiences. After all, a good story doesn't have to be one that rocks you to your core every time or end up with a stunning revelation. It could just be about a nice week in your life. Well, I think that's the end of that one. See ya techies. The script ended up being two pages, so sorry it was long. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.